Good morning. Welcome to the monthly traders game plan. Today is April 6, 2020. I am Christopher San Pedro, the U3 technical analyst. And I'm the one responsible for the daily reports. So if you're receiving it every day, so I'm the one responsible for the traders game plan. Okay. I'm doing a special webinar for today to discuss uh, our monthly strategy for this month, for the month of April to be, to be exact, okay? So what's our agenda for today? All right, so we will review the global and the local market, all right? And we will also tackle a, a strategy for this month. And particularly, there will be stock picks, so that's all right. So what stocks am I eyeing? Uh, to monitor this week and all right and last but not the least uh, we will have a length and break assignment for everyone so i suggest you do this so we will have uh, a shortened trading week all right so the trading will only last until wednesday so hopefully you can take this uh, length and break to reflect and to do this uh, assignment okay <laughs> So I'll start now. So first, global market review. So we will review the Dow Jones, the oil, Bitcoin, and the gold. So let's begin with the Dow Jones. Okay. Okay. So the Dow Jones, the Dow closed at twenty one thousand fifty two point fifty three last Friday. So as you can see, in trend, yeah. So the trend is still a uh, downtrend. All right. So, looking at looking at the support and resistance zones, we expect a range consolidation sa Dow for this week, and hopefully, maghold ang support zones niya at twenty thousand seven hundred thirty five and twenty thousand five hundred thirty eight. Okay, resistance is expected here twenty one thousand four hundred and twenty one thousand eight hundred fifty two. Okay. So, with that. So, what's our bullish scenario? The bullish scenario is for the Dow to do a healthy consolidation phase this month. Okay, before it attempts to break out of this downtrend channel, okay, it needs to establish a healthy consolidation phase, stabilization, and stabilization. Dyan. Okay, so that the next resistance zones na ibi break na niya, okay, given, di ba? Bago niya ma-attempt itong 23,000 and 24,000 na resistance zone. Okay? Kailangan niya mag-stabilize here. Di ba? Okay? Para po yung ma-break siya at ma-break siya above that, the downtrend channel, di ba? Will be invalidated na. Okay? Again, the bullish scenario is a healthy consolidation phase this month. And then, it will attempt to break yung resistance zones niya here at 20... Uh, 1,400, 21,800, 21, 22,500, and eventually break out dito sa downtrend path to cross 24, 23 and 24,000 system zones. Okay? So, yun ang bullish scenario natin. So, what's the bearish scenario? The bearish scenario for the Dow is this cycle. Okay? Given the trend is still in a downtrend channel, okay, Corona support here at 18,200, Corona resistance at 22,500, and the bearish scenario is to pag na break yung consolidation phase niya this uh, month, so yun, fill the gap dito sa 19,000 levels. And, 18, and then retest the 18,000 levels, or then all the way to go down at 17,400 and 16,400 support zones. Okay, that's the bearish view of Dow Jones. Okay, so we have to be cautious. So I suggest if you're trading the US market short term, muna, it's still hard to see na. Bottom na itong 18,200 given the volatility sa US market. Okay. Buy and support. Sell and resistance. Ma-break ang support. 
you short the stock, you short the index, yun ang maganda sa US market. Dynamic sila. You can go long and go short. Go long, buy low, sell high. You go short, you sell high, buy low. The opposite. Dynamic ang strategy sa foreign markets. Yun ang maganda sa kanila. You can have a dynamic, bullish strategy and bearish strategy. You can earn if the market go bullish and bearish. Okay, so suggest short term muna ang strategy dito sa Dow Jones. You ride the volatility. Okay, you want to trade this one. Short term, kaya need natin dapat i-monitor din talaga. Clear? Okay, next. So, punta tayo sa oil. Okay. So, the oil. What's the trend of the oil? So, downtrend din. Same with Dow Jones. Dow Jones. And last week, nagkaroon siya ng support diba, dito sa 20-year low. More than 20-year low. 19.26 dollars per buyer. Okay. And it closed at 28.76. Diba? Bounce place si oil. So, there's a news kasi na magkakaroon ng talk between Saudi, Russia, and OPEC countries to reach a deal sa output nila. So, there's a renewed uh, hope na matutuloy yun this week. So, kaya nagkaroon ng bounce play si oil. Okay? So, chart-wise, expect me, ito yung resistance ngayon ni oil. 29.10 and 30.5. Okay? So, in monitor this resistance level and then support niya assuming mag magiging bullish siya the oil should hold na above 23.36 support okay so once mag hold siya ito na yung consolidation phase ni oil this week okay medyo bullish sign yan okay so ano yung bearish scenario same kay Dow Jones so support Systems, ito naman yung very scenario natin. If it goes down below 23, expect retest niya, balik yan sa 20 and 19 dollars per bar. And eventually, if it breaks pa sa 19 dollars per bar, so ito na next na oil support natin, near 17 dollars per bar. Okay, so sa mga motorista, okay, <laughs> sabi nga sa akin, wala, wala pa natang demand niya given na lockdown. Pero, yeah, good news naman. I think magkakaroon back tayo. 30 cents this week. Okay? So, yun ang good news. But, you're monitoring naman crude oil. So, monitor nyo lang support at 23 and resistance at uh, 30.5. Okay? So, expect magiging volatile din to. Like, uh, given foreign market, news-driven din tong stock uh, commodity na ito. So, Let's see, let's see what 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 is in store for this commodity. So, basta monitor nyo lang support levels, okay? Alright, so if you're trading the oil, so suggestion ko lang is, as long as mag-hold tong resistance pa rin dito sa 29.5 and 30.5, you can short on these levels. And then cover kayo somewhere here at 25, 26, 27, diba? given the volatility niya, okay? So, yun yung short strategy sa oil. So, range trade strategy naman sa oil. So, buy kayo sa support zones na 25 and 27. Okay. 27 dollars per barrel. Okay. So, yun. And then, sell na kayo sa resistance. 29, 30. And, basta, may profit objective kayo. Given yung volatility niya. Okay. So, this is what I like sa foreign market. I, I've been practicing the foreign markets in the past four months to be honest. May napansin ko yun ang naganda niya. Dynamic siya. You can do long, you can do short. Okay? Kung chupitero ka, mag enjoy ka sa global markets to be honest. Okay? So, yan. Yeah. Alright. Next commodity. Let's go sa, uh, let's monitor the gold. Okay? The gold is Okay? So, we expect yung consolidation phase pa rin ni gold. So, so, intact. So, yan. So, support at uh, dito sa 1560 levels and 16. 1560 and 16. Resistance at 1637 and 1649. 
So, expect nyo, ito, magand, malaking consolidation phase pa itong 1650 levels given before nyo ma-attempt itong i-retest yung $1,700. No? So, yan. Yeah. Let's see. Ganyan muna siya. So, range trade bias tayo sa gold. Okay? So, buy and support zone. So, sell on the resistance zone. So, yun lang ang mga suggestions sa gold. Okay? So, any Bitcoin traders here? Alright. So, okay. So, ayan. Using ko lang chart ni Bitcoin. Para nag-error. Okay. Let's check ulit natin. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Bitcoin. So, good news about kay Bitcoin. Error chart. Eh. Apologies for that. So, the good news kay Bitcoin. So, definitely, I think ito na yung bottom. Nagkaroon siya ng short term bottom here. Sa 3,850. And, nag-reverse na rin siya. Nag-attempt ng divergence. Then, Diba? So, from 3,850, nasa 6,796 levels na siya ngayon. So, expect nyo may support levels dito sa 6,5 and 6,4 para sa buy and dips opportunity natin. Diba? Given bullish tayo, kay, bullish bias tayo kay Bitcoin, expect natin ganito na yung senaryo sa kanya at least. So, given meron na tayong short term bottom sa 3,8, we expect it to trend up na from here. Okay? So, once ma ma okay, resistance zones, expect natin 7,047 and 7,200 levels. So support at 6.5 and 6.4. Dito kayo <coughs> mag-abang ng opportunity this week if you're planning to trade Bitcoin. Diba? Given, pwede na natin siyang i-hold. I suggest you try to buy on dips. Okay? Strict mental stop tayo pag nag-break down siya below 6.4. Guys, strict mental stop. May invalidate na yung bullish view natin. Okay? So, no need to chase this uh, Bitcoin. You buy on dips. Okay? And watch nyo yung stop level dito pag nag-break yung 6.4. Okay? As long as dito ma hindi ma-break yung support zones natin, may chance tayo to test 7.2 and... 7.8 resistance levels pa. 7.275, eventually itong 7.9. Okay? Assuming bullish scenario tayo. Yeah, okay, trend up siya. Okay? So, good luck. Good luck sa mga magbibitcoin. Okay? Okay. So, that's it for the global market review. So, let's go sa local market. Alright? Let's review the local market. Alright? Go sa main event. So, ito, 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 yung, ito yung gusto natin. If ever, index mismo. Okay? So, yan. Okay. So, I filled it blank para i-trend talaga natin. I-draw natin yung trend line real time. Okay. Ayan. So, what's the trend? Trend is your trend. ta -da. So, the index is still uptrend by downtrend. The index is still in a downtrend. Okay, due to, remember na, diba? COVID fear, uh, COVID-19 fear, global uh, economic slowdown, recession fears, halo-halo na. There is fear in the market right now. Diba? Kaya nag, ano tayo, ha? nagkaroon na yung temporary uh, support. I, I'm not saying pa rin na bottom pa itong 3,000. Ah, 4,039. Given the trend is still in a downtrend channel. So, there is still a possibility na irita siya. As long as di tayo makakawala dito sa downtrend channel. Okay. So, draw natin ang support and resistance. Okay. Support here. four Then, next support dito. May gap tayo at 4864.86. Okay. Resistance natin. Here. 
5641.94 and next is here yeah, 5878.4 all right clear crystal clear right okay all right bullish and bearish scenario let's focus first on the bullish scenario so the bullish scenario is for the index to maintain its consolidation phase before it attempts to break out of five six and five eight okay maintain its consolidation phase before it attempts to break out of the downtrend channel. Okay. Okay. So, ito yung bullish scenario ni index. So, it will form a healthy consolidation phase this month before it attempts to break out of this downtrend channel at 5.8. Okay. Kailangan mag-above 5.8 siya para masabi natin na, uy, nag attempt na mag-reversal. May potential trend reversal si index. Okay, watch the support zones. 4984 and 486 for yung gap level yan. The index should not go down or should not close below 5,000 levels. Okay, assuming matetest na itong support zones sa gap at 48 and 49. Okay, hindi dapat siya mag-close below dyan ng 5,000. Otherwise, invalidated na bullish scenario natin and expect na yung very scenario wherein mabibreaks yung uh, support zones natin ng consolidation phase at 4.8 and 4.9 and possible di retest na tong 4.5 at 4,000 all the way to 3.7 pa ulit. So, yan yung bearish scenario natin sa index assuming ma-break tong consolidation phase natin okay given the index is still in a downtrend channel all right so given it is still in a downtrend channel it's still early to say na ito na yung bottom natin sa 4030 so we have to be cautious for them okay just like the dow jones short term uh, strategy muna sa index you can trade the range, you can buy on support, you sell on the resistance zones sa mga selected index stocks with volume and volatility. Okay? Alright? Given may consolidation bias tayo, so may trading opportunity tayo. Pero rest assured, hindi nyo kailangan mag-chase, hindi nyo kailangan mag-fomo. Because the market will give you the chance to buy on support, to buy on dips. If you will notice the traders game plan in the past uh, few weeks, doon ako nag-focus more on buy on dips, range trade uh, scenario. We will uh, capitalize sa volatility. And given the volatility of market, you can buy on dips, you can sell on resistance. You buy on support, you sell on resistance. Okay? So assuming ang bias natin muna ngayon is a consolidation bias, as long as nag-hold ang support zones natin 48 and 49, we can uh, do some range trading strategy on selected blue chip stocks. Okay. So clear ba tayo ron? Okay. As long as mag-hold ang psychological support at 5,000, hindi tayo mag-close below that. So you can trade the range. Okay. Okay. So clear tayo ron. Okay. Pag nag-close tayo below 5,000, that's it. Mental stop yun. Okay. Stop, stop loss tayo ron. So, do nothing ulit. <laughs> okay, given magkakaroon ng volatility, so stop loss tayo pag gano'n. Okay, abang na lang sa next support zone select. Okay, so clear tayo na. The moment we expect may range bias tayo. Okay, so range bias tayo. Support at 4.8 and so resistance at uh, 5.6 and 5.8. Okay, if we, stay, if we break out and stay above 5.8, Alright, yun na yan. Potential trend reversal. So, expect magiging medyo aggressive tayo nang sa market. So, pwede na lang deploy ulit ng position. Mag-increase tayo ng position. Okay, but right now, 
stay defensive given the downtrend channel may risk pa rin tayo na mag break down ng market so matest mag break pa sa below 5,000 so suggest you will do some range trade short term strategies muna okay so no need to be aggressive no need to become a hero in this uh difficult times okay be patient enough so okay pagka naman naging healthy ang market natin that's the right time to be aggressive right now more on defensive muna tayo okay so short term trades muna chupi chupita kakayanin okay Dissipate the bounce, the bounce play scenario, buy on support zone, sell on resistance, or your profit objective. Clear to iron. Okay? And with that, so, we have some yeah, strategies here that I, I wish to share with you. So, our April 2020 strategy. Okay? I will identify natin. Identify natin. Okay? So, okay. Okay, number one. So, as you can see, PSEI is in the downtrend bias. Downtrend uh, channel tile due to COVID-19 fear. Due to COVID-19 and recession fear, obviously. And how you how can we play this market? So, short-term bounce play and intraday opportunities through volatility on selected index and second liners. Okay. Again, short-term bounce play and intraday opportunities through volatility on selected index and second line. So, more on intraday bounce play ang in-anticipate natin. So, if you will monitor the intraday bounce play, I suggest you focus a 5-minute and 15-minute charts. So, from there, you can monitor na, oops, nag-bounce na pala siya. Uy, nagkaroon pala ng support zones during this day. Diba? Given shortened, uh, trading tayo ngayon, 9.30 to 1 p.m. lang, expect nyo may mabilis yung trading natin at nandun yung volatility. Diba? In the first 30 minutes or 1 hour, you will notice, ang nandun na, nagkaroon na na pala ng bounce play. Uy, nagkaroon na, nag-establish na pala ng support si SM dito sa price na to. Pwede na, na siyang, pwede na akong bumili. Napansin ko sa candlestick in the 5 minutes, may support na on this price. And then, na-confirm na na naging bullish na siya again in the next in the next 5 minute chart or 5 minute candle okay from there you can monitor yung volatility you can see the opportunities there you can earn at least 3 to 5% 2% na chupita strategies just by buying on support zones and selling on resistance zones or profit objective ba using short term bounce play into the opportunities okay Last week, diniscuss ko yan sa Facebook group namin, how to spot yung mga intraday opportunities. Okay? Just by looking at the intraday chart. 5 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay? Buy on support zone, sell on resistance zone, so profit check. Okay? Again, given short-term strategy style, so daily monitoring is essential. Yun. Given chuchupita kayo, intraday trader kayo, kailangan i-monitor nyo palagi ang positions nyo. Hindi ito pwede na, ay, may medium to long term ko na to. Bibili ko ngayon kasi naka long term mindset ako. Bibili ko ngayon kasi, yun na, long term to. Nataan ba? Pahala na. Mura kasi yung stock. Mura daw yung mga stock ngayon. Again, as you can see, dun sa previous, uh, dun sa previous presentation, but downtrend pa rin yung PSEI. Okay? What is cheap now can be cheaper. So, in, for me, this is still not uh, best time to say na mag may long term na ako, I will buy this, I will buy stocks, di ba? Kasi mura na sila. Di ba? Given na downtrend pa siya, we can expect na pwede pa siyang bumaba. Di ba? Kaya, hindi pa for me, this is still not the best time to go medium to long term strategy to buy na. Okay? Kasi ayun, ganun tayo eh. Ang iniisip natin palagi, how to find the bottom. Okay? Ay, na bottom na to. Ay, pwede na bumili. Again, you need to find the comfortable level wherein the trend will go into your favor. 
dun yung perfect time para mag medium to long term investor kayo. Pag alam nyo, nag-reverse na yung market. Nagiging from bearish, naging bullish na tayo. Okay? So, yun. Yun yung, magiging, yun yung gusto kong uh, ibigay na tips sa inyo ngayon sa mga gusto mag medium to long term investor. Diba? Diba? Be patient. When the market uh, is on a, on an, uh, in an uptrend na, that is the perfect time na pwede na kayo mag-average dyan, mag-medium to long-term investor. Okay? Kasi ngayon, alam yung downtrend, mag-average down kayo, ba? bumili ka today, alam mo pwede pa siyang bumaba next week, next month, tomorrow, next week, next month, nga ganyan cycle. Alam mo pababa pa yung trend niya. Ba't ka bibili? What's the point? Right? Sayang lang yung time noon yung pera. Okay? Wait for the trend to be in your favor. Pag uptrend na siya, kahit bumili ka, every buy on uh, deep opportunity, alam mong uptrend naman siya, yun na yun. Perfect yun sa medium to long term investor. Pwede na kayo mag-average down at peso cost averaging. Okay? So, okay, stay tuned palagi sa Traders Game Plan for daily updates ng stock picks. Again, mga short term strategies tayo. Range trade ideas. Okay? Increase cash position. Yan ang importante sa lahat. In trade, small position size only. Diba? Nibble defensive play. Diba? Maliit, diba? diba? Hindi nyo kailangan maging hero ngayon. Trade lang tayo ng comfortable levels. Diba? diba? Maliit na positions lang para yung stop loss pag nahit, okay lang. Kagat lang gam lang. Diba? Hindi ito yung time ngayon na magpapakahero ka o all in ako. O ikita ko malaki kasi mura na yung stock. Given downtrend bias, malaki pa yung downside risk. You don't need to risk a lot in a downtrend scenario. Diba? Hindi to suicide mission. You're here to invest. When you're not here to burn your portfolio. With that, your goal is to survive and ride the market reset for another bull run cycle once the pandemic ends. Trend is your friend until it bends. So, this is a simple uh, chart. Yeah. This is a simple chart ng uh, yearly, yearly chart to. No? You can see, no? Mayroon mga market cycle tayo. This one from 1991 to 1995, diba? So, from there, nag-gain ng 200% ang market during an uptrend. So, mga, ano nga, mga 4 years yan halos, no? Then, after that, nagkaroon ng correction ulit, diba? Nagkaroon ng cycle, no? Okay. Then, ito pa. Pansin nyo. From 2001 to 2007. Diba? Ilang years yan, no? Mga 6 years na bull run. 5 to 6 years bull run, no? What happened? 671% yung gining ng index. Diba? Ano pa ito? Ito yung pinaka-recent na bull run after the financial crisis from 2009 to 2000. Sabihin natin, 2018, no? So, during the 10-year bull run, nag-average ng 400% yung gain ng PSEI. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, guys. A lot of us are busy na saying na uh, kailangan bumili tayo sa bottom ng market. Ito yung objective natin. Diba? Mura na yung market ngayon. Bumili na kayo. ba? Hindi nyo napansin na yung trend, hindi nyo pinapansin na downtrend pa siya. Okay. So, alam mo, pag downtrend, pwede pang bumaba, di ba? Alam mo, ba, parang ito, di ba? Di ba? Na, for example, ito, no, 1997. Uh, mura na yan. Eh, bababa pa pala siya. Di ba? Mag-focus kayo when it comes na, alam mo, the trend is your friend until it bends. Alam nyo na, uptrend na yung market. It, uptrend nyo na yan. Diba? Yun yung kaibigan nyo na. Diba? Ito yung panahon na kahit mag-buy ang dips kayo. Diba? Alam ko naman na yung trend is uptrend. Diba? Friends kami ngayon. So, alam mo, comfortable kayo na alam mo uptrend yung market. Ito yung time na kahit bumili ka, ito yung perfect time na mag-buy ang dips. Kasi in-expect mo naman na medium to long term, pataas yung trend. Diba? The trend is your friend and pay it then. Okay? Diba? So, don't focus sa pag sa pagpredict ng bottom na ay ito yung right time to buy kasi mura ay right time to buy to kasi i think bottom na to mag-focus kayo medium to long term investor sa pag ito yung mindset niyo 
pag yung trend is in your favor niya, uh, uptrend na siya to be exact. Ito na yung time na pwede kayo mag long to mid, long term to medium term investing. Okay? Again, hindi tayo iiwan ng market. di ba? Mapapansin natin yan. Mga revenue niya sa charts. Yung mga y- weekly, daily, ina-update ko yung PSEI. Sasabihin natin doon, uy, trend reversal na to. Nag-hold na siya. Pwede na kayo mag dips, selected blue chip. When that happens, rest assured, we will be there. Okay? We will ride the next bull run. Yeah? The next uptrend. Yun ang goal natin. Kaya, again, your goal as an investor now is to survive and ride the market reset for another bull run once the pandemic ends. Yun yung good, uh, yun yung blessing. Sabi natin, not blessing, yun yung, uh, yung good side na nag-correct yung market. Okay? Blessing in the sense na pag natapos na itong pandemic, may ito na yung perfect, perfect reset para pumasok, maging investor tayo. Right? Maging investor kayo, lalo na yung mga medium to long term investor. Uh, lalo na yung mga nagpla-plano ng mag in the next 10 to 15 years, this is your moment na. Ito na yung opportunity of a lifetime natin to ride the next bull run. Di ba? Saya nun, no? Di ba? ba? Passive income talaga yun. Okay? So again, let's wait for uh, yung maging trend. Yung maging trend na natin yung trend. Let's wait for the market to ship na from a downtrend to uptrend. Di ba? Once it becomes uptrend, trend is your trend na until it ends. Enjoy the bull run. Okay? So, here are some stocks na I want you to watch and observe. Uh, again, these stocks are only for short-term traders. We're in, uh, gusto natin i-monitor lang yung market. Short-term lang. Short-term, in the sense na range trade kasi, di ba? Given na range trade ang index, you can buy and support, sell on uh, resistance, ba? You can buy on the intraday bounce, sell sa closing, happy na kayo sa 2-3% gains. Trader's market, though. this this uh, these stocks are specifically de- uh, this uh, specifically designed para sa mga chupitero. Okay? Ito yung mga mapapansin ko may volume, may volatility during the trading hours. Okay? I suggest you monitor Ali, SM Prime, Meg, Tel, Globe, Pure Gold, Robinson Retail Holdings, RHI, Meralco, Epgen. Okay? So, stocks to watch naman sa second and third liners. I suggest you monitor yung FLI, yung dito, yung now, tech, Sirtech Holdings, and ito yung Manila Water. Bakit ko nasabi Manila Water tender of play? <clears throat> if you will review the disclosure uh, last Feb, di ba? Mayroong disclosure na sinabi yung tender offer ni Rason is 13 pesos per share. And right now, doing 9.7 lang, basta nasa around 9 pesos per share lang yung Manila Water. So, dun pa lang, meron na kayong more than 20% potential pag nag-tender tayo ng shares once the tender offer period uh, ends. Diba? So, let's wait for the disclosure pag nagsabi na sila ng tender offer. Diba? So, this is a good tender offer play. May opportunity tayo dito sa Manila Water. Okay, uh, sample tayo some stocks. So, okay. Sample sa index Ali. So, yan. Si Ali, yan, di ba? Consolidation phase si Ali, no? So, given me support zones dito, so I suggest you can buy near 30.5 and then sell sa resistance uh, 32, 32.8, 34, di ba? Uh, pwede niyo i-range trade to itong Ali. Okay? Given may range trade scenario, you wait lang tayo sa mga uh, support zones. Diba? Wait lang tayo sa pag napansin nyo may mga intraday support na. Sa 5-minute chart, diba? Pag napansin nyo may intraday support na, uy, ay, nag-support na here, 31 something. Ay, after 5 minutes, umaas na siya. Yun na yan. Pwede nyo na siyang i- Pwede na kayong bumili dito. Then sell na niya. 31.90. Ito yung, share ko sa inyo yung mga strategy na pwede nyo i-intraday. Diba? Intraday, 
bounce, diba? 1%, 2% potential, makakachupitan na kayo dyan. Diba? Pansin nyo, no? mag-open siya, mag-correct, na-establish ang support, before, ba? 9.30, before 10 o'clock, kung pansin nyo, hindi na bumababa dito sa support zone, 31.20, kinonfirm ng another 5-minute candle, nag-breakout na siya sa resistance sa 31.40 levels, at all the way, tumaas na siya ng hanggang 31.90, 32. So, dun pa lang, may potential lang kayo na 2 to 3 percent, just by riding the intraday volatility. Okay? So, yun yung si-share ko sa inyo ngayon na mga strategies if you want to do some chupita moves sa mga blue chip stocks. Okay? You can ride the intraday volatility. That's the first strategy. And then, you can also buy sa mga swing strategy, swing plays. Pag ka na-hit yung mga resistance, ay, ma-hit yung support zones natin sa daily chart. Okay? Diba? So, yan. SM Prime, ganun din. So, diba? Watch na lang itong support zones, 28, 27.5, buy opportunity, diba? Sell, near 30 pesos, diba? So, diba? Pag nabreak ang 30 pesos, you can sell, next, sa 32 pesos, diba? Range trade opportunity, okay? Same with MEG, so, okay? Support resistance zone, trade the range, buy near 250, 240, you sell, anything above 260, diba? Yeah, you can sell that. You can sell it. Okay. Watch yung uh, resistance at 269 and 280. Okay. Okay. Gusto ko yung mga telco right now. Okay. So, why? Pansin nyo, no? Telco kasi... Ayan, no? <laughs> oh, bakit daw, no? Kasi, yun nga. Lockdown tayo ngayon. Alam yung data-driven ngayon ng market natin. Wala ka sa internet, no? So, yan. So, maganda yung telco at the moment. So, the past few days, nag-recommend tayo sa buy sa telco. So, buy on dips. So, yan. So, suggest nyo tayo. Monitor natin yung support zones ng tel dito. Diba? You buy near dito sa 1,000 pesos. No? Anything uh, near 1,000. Ay, sorry. 1,000. Dito sa 1,060. Yan. Diba? May nagkaroon ng dip siya. Pag nag-dip siya below 1-1, particularly near 160, pwede nyo yung support zones dyan. Diba? Potential trend reversal kasi siya. Eh, no? 1,070, 1,060, 1,090. Pwede tayong bumili dito sa support zone. And then, resistance niya, expect natin dito sa 1, 179. Okay? And then, all the way to... Ito na. 1, 2, 4, 3 na. Yan. Okay. So, ito yung mga buy zone natin sa tell. Okay. Suggest you buy near 1,090 and 1,060. And then, resistance zones natin na 1, 1, 7, 9, and 1, 2, 4, 3. Okay. Clear tayo rin. Okay. So, okay. So, buy and dips dito sa tell ha. Potential trend reversal siya. Okay. So, globe, same. ba? Potential trend reversal din siya. You buy near 1980, 1912. Resistance target natin is at 2098 and 2150. Diba? Pwede pa siyang i-retest yung 52-week high niya, 2-3. So, again, no need to chase this stock. Abang na tayo sa support zone. Okay? Diba? Ganda ng RSI niya, health rate. Above 50 na. So, interesting ang mga telco stocks. Okay? Ano pa yung mga interesting ngayon? Yung mga grocery. Given lockdown tayo, kailangan natin kumain. So, yan. So, uptrend nyo yung si Pure Gold. Suggest you buy on dips. May 36.4. At may gap pa siya sa 35. ba? Abang-abang lang. May suggest 37, 36.4, 35. Doon tayo mag-abang. Expect nyo yung resistance. Pwede nyang i-test. Itong 39.75. Once ma-break to, next resistance natin above 40 pesos na per share. Okay? Interesting to. I think this can go 44. This part. So, interesting yan. Uh, Banga lang yung pure good. Next. RRHI. So, yan. Medyo down to pa si RHI at nag-a-attempt pa lang siya mag-breakout uh, sa downtrend channel. 
But in anticipation to that, expect ito yung consolidation phase niya this week. Abang lang kayo sa 54, 55, and 53.20. Resistance zones. Dito. Uh, 58.95, 6 and 60, and 61.1. Okay, buy yung dips opportunity ko. Pwede nyo rin itong ichupita. Diba? Minsan, fino force close to yung stock na ito. Diba? Buy yung dips sa 55, 54, 53. You sell 56, 57, 57 yung nabag. Pwede na kayong maka-chupit ng 2%. Okay. Next. Siyempre, kailangan ng electricity. During lockdown, no? Okay. Diba? Given lockdown yan, kailangan din natin ng may demand sa electricity, no? Okay. So, yeah. Meral ko some good news here. Nag- Mag-a-attempt siyang mag-break down, mag-break out dito sa downtrend channel, no? So, let's see, let's see. I think this is a buy on dips, uh, medyo tayo mag-buy on dips dito. Uh, assuming ang, ang thesis natin is mag-a-attempt na siya to break out of this downtrend channel. Assuming ito na yung target natin, 250 and 267. You buy on dips dito sa near 227 area, di ba? At 210. Okay. Stop loss level natin yun pag nag-close below 210. Okay. Yung target natin at least is 250 and 267. Okay. So, clear tayo rin. Camera ko. Okay. FGen. So, well. FGen. Same camera ko. Attempting to break out of the downtrend channel. So, okay. So, bang tayo sa gap. Ito yung support zone niya. Yeah, so may support at 16 and 15.38. Okay. Resistance natin at 17.5 at dito na yung next. Okay, so be natin 18.5 para sure. So ito yung range trade opportunity natin. Okay, once it stays above 17.5, potential trend reversal to. But at the moment, let's anticipate may uh, buy and dip scenario tayo. Hindi pa tayo iwan ito. Mag-abang lang tayo at 16. Okay. At 15.38 na gap. Okay. Clear tayo sa FGEN. Buy and dips. Okay. Yeah, pwede nga. Sell on resistance zones. Okay. Clear tayo rin. Okay. Pagka nag-hold, mag-stay na siya above 17.5. Potential trend reversal yan. Pwede na nating i-hold dyan. Okay. Clear yan ha. Same with Meralco, babalikan ko lang din, okay? Pag nag-hold na siya above 250 at nag-stay na siya above the downtrend line na yan, pag potential trend reversal confirmation na yan, you can hold this stock na. Okay? But, pero as long as di pa siya nag-break out dito sa downtrend channel, range trade bias lang, chupita pa rin tayo. Okay? Clear ba, guys? So, okay, monitor naman natin yung mga second and third liners. FLI, ayan, so downtrend pa rin siya, so chupita lang, you buy niya 86 and 82, you sell at 96, okay, pag nag-hold na siya above 96, next target natin is 105, pwede na yung i-hold dyan, pero as long as hindi pa siya nagbe-break out dito sa downtrend channel, range trade pa rin siya, so yeah, pwede tayong chumapita dyan, swing chupita or swing strategy, okay, here, si dito. Ayan, ito yung clear example yung sinasabi nga natin na pag nag-break out ng downtrend channel, diba, stay, downtrend, nag-stabilize, nag-break out ng downtrend channel, stabilize in the sense na consolidate siya, support resistance, support resistance, na-break yung resistance dito sa 1.22, yun yun, yun yun, 1.58 na siya. Okay, so at the moment, hindi mo na siya. Range bias na na. Okay, as long as nag-hold to 145, diba, support, at resistance natin at 177, yan, tradable range yan. Pwede kayong chumapita, chupi-chupita mo. Okay, once it breaks out to 177, given magre-range bias to this week. Okay, next target na natin, eventually 193, diba? Dalawang piso na after. 193 and 2 pesos. So, yan. Mga chupitero, tutuwa kayo dyan. Swing traders.
Ito na yung pagkakataw natin. Dito. Okay. Another one. Pa-attempt ng trend reversal. Ito. See now. Okay. 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 Baan ba natin? Ganda. Ayan. Ayan. Ang ga-attempt ng trend reversal itong sinaw. Diba? Nagkaroon siya ng short term bottom dito rin. Sa piso. Parang dito rin itong strategy na ito. Okay. So, eventually, para mag-trend reversal sinaw, it needs to stay above 180. Okay. Given downtrend channel pa siya. At at the moment, <coughs> pwede natin siyang i-range trade. Okay. Identified support levels natin dito. Diba? Pwedeng 146. Okay. Ito yun. 146 at 1.63. Yan yung mga range. Ito yung range trade na uh, scenario natin for this week. Hindi na dapat siya bumaba dyan sa 146. Okay. Para i-attempt na niya i-break. Mag-break dito sa resistance. So, 163 at itong 1.68 na resistance zones. Okay? So, given that, pag nag-break pa itong 168, yung 163, ito na yung next na itetest yung 180 para mag-break dito sa downtrend channel. Okay? Now, if we're trading now, I suggest i-buy yung dips natin ito. May 146. Okay? If it closes below 146, may invalidate na yung view natin. Stop loss tayo lang. Okay? You buy near 146, you sell. Pag nag-resist pa din itong 163 and 168. Pag nag-hold na siya above 163 and 168, you can, ito, you can hold this stock for a potential trend reversal like nangyari kay dito. Okay? So, I think now is trying to, baga, ride the bullish view sa mga telco, eh, no? tell in blue. Given telco provider din to, like dito. Diba? Sila yung mga in-demand ngayon during lockdown season. So, yeah. Interesting to. So, another stock to watch. Diba? Ito, nag a din ng potential trend reversal. Share tech. No? So, monitor nyo lang yung gap at 5.70 support zone. Ngayon, near 6 pesos. Opportunity yan. Pag nabri, ba? Resistance to test. Diba? 7.4, 7 pesos, and 7.72. Range trade idea rin siya. So, if it stays above 7.42 or 7.70, better yon. Given may invalidate na itong downtrend uh, channel, pwede na itong i-hold. Pero as long as di pa siya nang above 7.4, range trade bias tayo. Can buy on support, sell on resistance. Buy on support, sell on resistance. Simple as that. Okay, clear guys. And then, MWC. Ito na, intend to offer play. Uh, play. So, yeah. Diba? For example, buy tayo dito sa average na 9 pesos. Target to sell at 13 pesos. Diba? And yung tender offer. No? Meron kayong 40% potential. Okay. So, monitor this stock. You can buy as low as you can. Okay. Given downtrend pa rin naman siya. Pero yun. Pansin nyo, nag a na siya mag-break ng downtrend. So, potentially, baka bumalik ka ng 10 pesos. No? Yun yung next target natin dyan. 10.5. 10.5 saka 11.60. So, if you're planning to buy pa, I suggest dito, near 9 pesos. 9.4, 9.5. Okay? So, yan. Then tayo bibili na MWC. Okay? And tender offer play yan. Code yun lang. And sell tayo pag nag-tender offer na bago mag-deadline. No? Even bibili tayo ni Rason at 13 pesos per share. Okay? Alright, so abang-abang tayo sa announcement. So I believe after yun ang stockholders meeting this month. So hopefully meron silang update para sa tender offer ni Enrique Rason at 13 pesos per share. Okay? So yeah, so that's it. So kinay ko sa inyo ngayon yung strategy. So stocks to watch. Again, these are for short term muna. Given it's still early to say na pwede na natin silang i-hold. Given, yun nga, may mga scenario pa tayo that needs to be completed. It needs to stay above those levels para masabi niyo hold pa siya. 
But right now, if the market is giving you an opportunity para chumupita, kumita, kumita sa short-term strategies, bounce plays, swing plays, intraday, intraday chupita, grab it. Okay? Basta, I suggest, i-monitor nyo lang siya. Mga full-time traders, ito na yung moment nyo. Ride the volatility, ride the swings. Again, medium to long-term investors, hindi ko pa masasuggest na bumalik sa market. So, you wait for the trend to go in your favor pag nag na siya. At the moment, the market will only favor muna yung mga short-term bounce play, short-term uh, chupiteros muna. You trade the range, okay? You watch the intraday bounce play sa 5-minute chart. Yun na yan. Okay? Okay? Here, Tyron. So, right, let's go for uh, the length and break assignment. Yan. So, yeah, meron ako pa-assignment sa inyo, uh, listeners. Okay. Sa so, mga U-Trade exclusive members, take note of this assignment. Okay. Alright. So, basahin mo natin itong uh, special uh, quote galing kay Trader Dante. Trader Dante, isa yan sa mga galing na mentor niya yun, eh, sa uh, international market. So, uh, search nyo lang sa Google. So, sabi niya, Welcome to the hardest game in the world. Fortunately, you're playing with some of the sharpest, fastest, most intelligent, well-informed, stubbornly irrational, and in many cases, unethical minds in the world. You're up against a computer that can react faster than you, the trader who has more experience than you, the fan that has more money than you, the insider that has more information than you, the others that will misinform you, the inner voice that will do its best to undo you. So leave all your dreams of making quick and easy money behind. The first aim is survival. The absolute first goal is to learn how to stay in the game. You can only do this by mapping the territory, by understanding how the enemy thinks and acts, by having a solid game plan. And by picking your battles very, very carefully. So, are you ready to play? Long. So, breaking this down, mayroon tayong tatlong uh, key elements. Okay? Diba? Number one, survival. Number two, your growth as a trader. Number three, consistency. If you combine these three you get profitability in the long term. Yun yun eh. Ito kasi yung isa sa mga common mistake and I have to admit, ito yung mga pagkakamali ko nung mga newbie trader. Yung pagkakamali na uh, pag nag-invest ka sa market, pag nag-trade ka sa market, may quick and easy money. Go all in, easy money, millionaire ka kagad in one month, in one week, in two days, three days. Diba? Hindi ko naisip na kailangan pala meron pa akong right mindset to invest. Hindi lang dapat na magaling ka mag-technicals, diba? may mga kaibigan ka, may mga kaibigan ka sa market, mga ganyan, bla bla bla, share kayo information, chismis, analysis, eh sige, ganyan daw, may bibiling, backdoor, insider info, mali lahat yun, guys, chismis, analysis. You need to have these three, pala, these three, ah, uh, ah, uh, key uh, competencies. Diba? Kailangan ba? Yung survival mindset, yung growth mindset, consistency mindset. Pag meron ka ng tatlo na yan, yun yung profitability na in the long term. Diba? Hindi ka dapat mag-iisip nung mga quick buck. Iniisip mo palagi dapat medium to long term na profitable ako. Pag ganun, yun na yun. Money will follow. Okay? Huh? With that, ang assignment ko sa inyo ngayong Lenten season, diba? ito na yun ba? Given 3 days lang yung trading natin. I would like you to reflect. Diba? Kasama na yun sa reflection natin. Diba? Example, diba? particularly mga kapatid kong Kristiyano dyan, mga Catholic. So, diba? ito yung isa sa mga important season natin to reflect. Okay? So, with that, Na-inspire din ako na gumawa ng activity para sa mga youth traders ngayon and sa mga listeners nitong uh, webinar. Okay? Ang title natin, diba, 
na-inspire din ako dito yung strategy ng trader natin. Ay, title, ang title ng activity niyo is Slaying My Trading Demon. Diba? Ito yung nagahamper, yung trading demon, ito kasi yung nagahamper sa growth niyo. Yung survivability niyo, yung growth niyo, and yung consistency niyo para maging profitable trader. Diba? Ito yung tukso niyo yung temptation para maging profitable kayo yung dana medium to long term. So, sabi ng trader Dante, slay your inner demon before it devours your portfolio. Okay? Your road to survival begins with the step of slaying your trading demon. Okay? Your goal is to identify, reflect, ito na ito, ito yung pagkakataon na mag stop ka mag-trade. Given, kailangan mo mag-reflect. Na-identify mo na siya, Magre-reflect ko ngayon. Stop trading for a while. Given, habang nagre-reflect ka, ito na yung opportunity ni to slay the trading demon na nag a mag-debar ng portfolio nyo. At ito yung sisira sa progress nyo. At consistency to become a profitable trader or investor in the equity market. Okay, with that, yan. Kailangan natin na slaying my demon checklist. Okay. So, yan. You can do an Excel file. Diba? Ito yun. Diba? Gawa kayo ng mga activity. Ito yung mga recent trading mistakes na napansin nyo, ito yung nag-hamper sa growth nyo as a trader. Yung consistency nyo diba? to become a profitable trader. Ito yung nag-hamper sa inyo. Ito yung pungitigin sa inyo. Ito yung mga trading demon. Diba? Diba? Yeah. Ito ba? Diba? For me, ito. Example, naglagay ako ng mga common trading demons na nag-hamper diba? sa akin as a trader. Ito yung mga past experience ko na masasabi ko nakahamper sa akin bilang trader. Na nakahamper sa profitability ko, growth ko, and consistency ko diba? bilang trader. And kailangan ma-identify natin to. Kasi hanggat hindi natin ito na-identify, hindi tayo nakapag-reflect dito, hindi natin siya may isla. And yun, ito yung magiging uh, hindrance natin para maging profitable tayo in the long term. So I suggest ito na, gawa kayo ng Excel file. So, okay. So, yeah. uh, I will uh, send this one pagka sa comment section ng... Uh, Facebook uh, page ng Utrade saan ipopost itong uh, webinar magsisend ako nitong Excel file so you can modify this diba? Diba? you can modify this sa mga activities na you believe na nag-hamper sa inyo sa pagiging profit, profitable trader ito yung mga trading demon na kailangan nyo i-identify reflect and slay Aba, tatapusin natin to ngayong length and break ito yung ito yung magiging ano nyo, uh, assignment. Ito yung perfect time to reflect kasi, di ba? Ngayong length and season. Baga, ano tayo? Retreat. Trading retreat. Spiritual na. Meron din tayo sa trading retreat. Sa pag-i-invest. Magiging investor. Di ba? So, dinibide ko siya tatlo. So, sa planning stage ko. Trading execution. And yung trading discipline. Planning stage. Ito yung mga common trading demons. Di ba? Again, pag sinend ko sa inyo yung Excel file, you can add pa kung ano yung alam nyo pwede pang maging trading demon. Sa planning stage, number one, wala akong stock watch list for the week. Number two, no journal from the previous trading week. Hindi ako naggumawa ng journal. Diba? Wala akong, diba? hindi ko malang sinulat, hindi ko malang nilagay sa cellphone, tinight, mga natutunan ko. Trading week na yun, previous trading week. Ito yung mga some of the common demons sa planning session, no? Pag nag-planning session ka. Okay, trade execution naman. Wala ka, ha? So, hope and no cut loss plan. Pag bumaba yung stock, maasa ka na lang, tataas ulit yan. Maghihintay na lang ako. Wala kang cut loss plan. Number two, impulsive ka sa buy and sell. FOMO. Ay, tumaas siya. Kahit meron ako niyan, hahabulin ko yan. Chasing prices. Ay, meron si ganito. Bumili daw ng ganyan. Kailangan meron din ako. Tumaas na siya. Habol, habol. Bye, bye, bye. Ayun yun. FOMO. Wala kang plan eh. 
Basta kung ano na nakita mo sa market, dumipad, bibiling mo na. Trading demon pala yun, ano? Then, nagplan ka ng trade, pero hindi mo in-execute. Oo, oh, wala. Why? Na-freeze ka lang, oh. Ay, nga nga. Yun, nako. Trading demon pala yun. May plano ka, mag-effort ka during the weekend ng watchlist, hindi mo in-execute. Diba? Another trading demon, all-in mentality, wrong position size. Alam mo yung downtrend yung market, bumababa yung stock. Sinalo mo, bumay, bumili ka, no, tataas na bukas yan, all-in. Bilagay mo lahat ng portfolio mo, patay, trading demon pala yun. Huh? And yun, poor risk-reward trade. Nako, alam mo mababa yung risk-reward ratio, below 3, below 2. In-execute mo pa rin siya. Nako, yung trading demon pala yun. Diba? When it comes sa discipline, ito naman. Wala kang focus. Diba? I mean, ito pala, sorry. Facebook and forum analysis for buy and sell execution. Nako, nagre-rely ka lang sa Facebook groups, sa mga forums. Diba? Kung ano yung sinabi di ganito. Without due diligence, di mo muna pinag-aralan yung chart, di mo muna pinag-aralan yung parameters. Di ko pinag-aralan yung angkop na strategy for that. Nako, trading D1 pala yun. Binay and sell mo agad dahil nakita mo lang sa Facebook. Number two, yan. Mga magpupuyat. Diba? Lack of sleep. Yun. Bad for the health yan. Diba? Health is wealth nga, sabi nga nila. Diba? Number three, too much social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Ay kihashtag ka palagi. Trading discipline yan. Sobrang babad ka na. Pansin mo, mas malaki pala yung naaalat mo rin na time kaysa mag-aaral ka o tumulong ka sa pamilya mo, di ba? Tumulong ka sa mga, tumulong ka sa mga gawaing bahay. Ayun, trading demon pala yun. Kaysa mag-aaral ka, di ba? Puro ka Facebook, Peter, IG, chismis, chismis. Sa IG, panay ka, di ba? Tingin ka lang sa mga influencers. Trading demon pala yan. And then last but not the least, ito yun. Yung procrastination. Mamaya ako nagagawin to. Mag-aaral ako ng bagong chart. Mag-aaral ako ng market. Mag-aayusin ko yung mga pagkakamali ko. Mag-journal ako. Mamaya na. Bukas na lang yun. Yun. Procrastination. Yan na yung habit. Yun. Trading demon yan. Kailangan kitang islay. Alright. Clear? So, once you have this uh, Excel file, that's it. I-record nyo siya. Diba? For example, may first offense ka. Check mo yan. Diba? Magawa mo siya this week. Magawa mo siya nung next. The next day. Magawa mo siya today. Magawa mo next day. Diba? Diba? Basta any offense. First offense yun agad. Ha? Diba? Then for example naman sa second offense. For example, nagawa mo nga yung Monday. Nagawa mo nung Tuesday. Or Wednesday or Thursday, Friday. Basta may first offense ka na ulit-ulit yun, check mo ulit yan. Second offense, huli ka. And then, third offense, naulit na naman siya. That's it. Mag-reflect ka na. Kasi, given that, na-identify mo na kung saan ka consistent na trading demon, stop trading ka muna, mag-reflect ka. And that's the perfect time na ma-slay mo na siya. Okay? Clear tayo ron? Again, first offense, Second, di ba? Pag kinabukasan, or next week, na ulit ulit, second offense. After na second offense, makulit ka pa rin. Nandun pa rin yung trading demon mo. You stop trading sa third offense. And you try to slay that. Yun na yun eh. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, nagiging consistent pa. Nandyan pa rin yung trading demon mo. Okay? Ito na yung pinaka... Ito yung pinaka... critical phase na eh, sa third offense. Pag napansin mo pa ulit-ulit at hindi mo pa siya na, na i-slay ng first and second offense, kailangan mo talaga mag-stop ng trading. Kasi there is something wrong na talaga within yourself. Okay? Kaya hopefully, sa first and second offense pa lang, ma-identify mo na trading di mga stop mo na dun. Kasi ayokong umabot pa kayo sa third offense when in fact, kailangan nyo nang mag-stop ng trading, mag-reflect ng mabuti talaga. Talaga bang para sa akin itong trading na to? Kasi pa ulit-ulit ako nakakamali. O hindi. Okay, as much as possible, hopefully, sa third offense, yun ay pinaka-worst. Pag nag-stop kayo ng trading, nakapag-reflect kayo, nakapag-relax kayo, nakapag-declutter kayo, na-slay nyo na trading demon na yun, you can go back sa trading. Clear tayo ron? 
So your goal is to identify, reflect, and to slay the trading demon before it devours your survival in the trading the equity market. Okay, good luck with that. This is your Lenten break assignment. You trade exclusive members. I suggest you do this. Sa mga viewers today, no monthly traders game plan. Uh, you're invited to do this as well as part of your uh, development, trading development too. Eh. Yung, ba, para sa paano nyo pa i-develop yung pagiging investor nyo, pagiging trader to become profitable in the long term, medium term. Okay, again, your profitability depends on your survival, growth, and consistency. Consistency. Kaya napaka-critical to slay your trading demon before it devours your portfolio. Dear Tyron, clear ah? Okay, I would also like to invite you to join our U-Trade exclusive group. Okay, so it is posted above yung uh, URL address niya, www.facebook.com slash groups slash U-Trade exclusive. So again, www.facebook.com slash group slash you trade exclusive so ito yung uh, exclusive page para sa mga account holders ng Unicapital Securities so benefits so we have here weekly webinars with question and answer portion mga stock requests okay and then trading strategy requests halo-halo na consultation etc so we also have here yung mga daily reports, market updates, on target sa research para sa fundamental analysis and the traders game plan for technical analysis. Again, this is exclusive for you trade clients. Kaya bago kayo mag-join, mag-request ng na uh, mag-join sa group, make sure meron na kayong account sa Unicap kasi i-verify yun ng marketing team namin. Kailangan may legit account kayo sa Unicap. Okay, and what are you waiting for? So sign up now. So go to facebook.com slash utradeph and you can also visit our website www.utradeph.com Okay, clear? So hopefully magkita-kita tayo rito sa Utrade Exclusive Group. So sa mga viewers today, sign up, uh, sign up uh, now, open an account now. So join Utrade. Hopefully, maging regular na kayo. Makita ko kayo palagi dito sa YouTube Exclusive. Okay? Dito ako active. Weekly, meron akong webinar here. Live webinars. So, hope to see you there, ha? So, thank you very much. And may we all have a meaningful Holy Week sa mga kapatid kong uh, Catholics. And stay safe then, Stay at home. And tulungan natin ng government natin, tulungan natin mga, lalong lalo na mga frontliners, please stay at home. Okay? Ha? So, take care and happy investing. See you again next month. And mga U-Trade exclusive members, see you next week, okay, after Easter. Thank you very much. Happy trading!